Welcome back, Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and today I have an interesting video for you guys. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. I want to talk about emergency candles. And I'm going to start with these small unscented taper candles. I can pick these up for a couple bucks and these work pretty good. I'm going to take two of these out. One of them is going to sit in a candle holder here. If I can get it in there correctly. We're going to set that there. And the other one is going to be put into a can of shortening. Okay, so Crisco and things like that. So what I want to do is I want to take the Crisco and I want to measure the height and I want to get this candle where it's just a little bit taller. So right there where my thumb is would be a good place to make this cut. Right here where my thumb is. So something like that. We're going to go ahead and take this top off. Expose the Crisco inside. And now we're going to turn this into a long-term candle. This thing is going to last a long time. So in the event that you're in a survival situation, you can use this technique. It's a very good technique. I'm just going to kind of trim around the wick a little bit. I want to just get that wick exposed, just the threads of it right there so I can light it. So I'm going to just kind of cut just very lightly, not cutting the wick itself, but just the wax around it so I can light it. So from here, we're just going to shove this right down in the center, all the way down until we touch the bottom. Pack, a, pack the Crisco around that candle. And we are pretty much done with our survival candle. This thing is going to last a long time. So there we have the wick a little bit exposed. Let's go ahead and see if we can light that wick. Get the candle going. We're going to set the timer to start. It's going to count up. We're also going to light this other taper candle next to it. And now that I have both of them lit, we're just going to let this thing time lapse. And we're going to see how long. I mean, I'm not going to let it run for days, of course, but uh, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to let it go for a little while just to let you guys see exactly what they do. This is a very good option in the event of a survival situation, a bug out situation. Maybe the power's out, maybe the grid's down, something like that. That's what you would want to use this candle for. It's going to surprise some of you how long these last. They last a long time. went out we are 165 minutes that's uh almost three hours because three hours would be 180 minutes i got a quick correction 
to make to this video before I go. I've been watching it post editing and I realized that the candle went a lot longer than 165 minutes. If you back up the video and you watch the, the time lapse of the counter, you'll notice that it was actually 465 minutes. Not 165, 465 minutes is what I showed in this time lapse. That is 7.75 hours. That's seven and three quarters of an hour. Almost eight hours of runtime that I showed in this video. So I just wanted to make that quick correction so you guys could see that. So as you can see, this shortening candle or Crisco candle is working fantastic. These things are very effective as you could see in this video. Now I'm not gonna continue to time warp this anymore. I think that this has definitely proven its point. Now, as you can see, these things obviously last a tremendous amount of time. It's working very well. They're very easy to make and excellent for emergencies. So with all that being said, folks, I wanna say thank you for joining me today on this video. I hope you got some good useful information out of it. Please feel free to leave your comments down below, like this video, share this video, and until next time, have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Bye for now.